Hello and welcome. Sildrace here with World of Tanks. Another single game here. Single round of ga bad gameplay. Essentially bad gameplay. With this Koda T24, a Czechoslovakian medium tank. Yes, it's a medium tank. Tier 5. Tier 5. So on this map, I, I have never played this self. That's part of the reason why I kind of wanted to show this. Show this particular replay of mine. Uh, reminder, this, these are made from replays. Yes, uh, well, I never go down here. I, I basically always go to the middle or around the uh, CBA1 side of the map. So I thought, eh, I am playing in a lower tier tank. In a sort of medium tank thing. So let's let's just go down south here and kind of figure out how this south side works. Do I want to play this south side another time as well? All of that good stuff. And I also kind of wanted to so show some mediocre gameplay, which is what I usually show on this channel. I am I, I am not very good at this game. I don't claim to be. And to me. Games with failures are much more interesting than games where somebody just farms a bunch of damage and, and, and you know, whatnot. Like, for example, this particular situation. I have no idea where that shot went. But this is a tier 4 tank with a whole lot faster firing gun than what I have. And my... Just... How I... How I... <laughs> my positioning there was just utterly bad, right? I, just, I was sideways into it. My first shot went somewhere. My my second shot hit. And my third shot went, I think, under the tank. That thing... I, I was getting farmed by a tier 4. That's a mistake if, if there was one, right? So, yeah. That wasn't, wasn't very, very successful. And here, I don't want to push forward at all. That, that's at least correct play by me, because... I don't want to block the movement of the Cromwell in front of me. I don't like. I don't want to block the Cromwell movement, so that it it, it is free to move however it wants be in this narrow pathway, um, around to to try and fight that B twenty six forty thing on a jack. Does the Cromwell go and and finish it off? Yes, it does. And now I can push because there is some space and 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 freedom to move, right? So, let's do that. And judging by what I'm seeing here so far, I don't think I will ever come to the south of this map again. Because this is just tight corridors here, with very little room to maneuver, uh, and, and so on. But granted, it could be interesting in a, in a heavy tank to try and hold an angle. Wait, what did I hit if I did not hit the armor? Okay, fine. Uh, yeah, that was a bad shot. Real bad shot. Anyway, can I put a shell into you? There we go. We even get a, get the kill on it for 18 points of damage. Amazing. I have done 132 damage and I have gotten a kill. And Okay, you are sideways to me. Okay, perfect. I got a shot into you and somebody finishes you off. Riveting gameplay, right? Absolutely fantastic. But yeah. Simple massive mistake by being sideways against something which fires faster than I do. Really bad play by me over there. Really, really poor play. And also, not knowing uh, this particular part of the map contributes to that issue. Either I should play this part of the map more to, to figure out how to play. And this is why I'm like, hey, okay, can I, can I push into this AMX and this M8A1 just goes into it. And I got a shot in there, so there is that. There is that. So, either play this side of the map more, or... Then just simply decide to never come here again. But more, probably the latter for me, because I don't play this game enough to try and learn all of the map positions. It, no point in try, even trying. Just go into the places where... I at least know what the fluff I'm supposed to do in that particular position, or rather where the cover is, what angles I can hold, and what angles am I being shot at from. 
But from time to time you kind of want to want to experiment a little. I have no idea where that shell went. Yeah. No, no idea. Apparently this this apparently my gunner is not really into into this whole shooting thing. But this is this is where we where we go join the fight in the B3 when uh, area and whatnot. This is where I actually actually do a little bit better play. This is actually where I go into places where I know how to how to approach stuff on this map and so on. I am really surprised that the VK 3601 age even came to the south because it could have dominated this side of the map like entirely. Anyway, 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 anyway. Well, here we go. We are charging in. In this tier 5 medium tank. KV-1. Alright, KV-1. We get a shot into the rear of the KV-1. M6. Get a sh shot in the side of the... Okay. Armor not hit. Well, that is that game. <laughs> Armor not hit. What the flop did I hit then? Anyway, anyway, anyway. I thought I would show this off because, again, if you look at the actual, like, numbers in the bottom left, this was not a good game by me. Like, not at all. I didn't really achieve too much here. But I learned at least a little bit of what how the south side plays, and I again learned to pay more attention of how am I positioned in this tank compared to, uh, you know, a lower tier tank. I didn't realize that the P-26 or whatever has that fast firing gun that it can just lock me in place and basically destroy me. I have no idea. Now I know. Now I know. Learn new things by playing the game and, and failing. And probably never go to the south side of this map again. Anyway, hopefully this was entertaining. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you folks next time with more World of Tanks.